Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry it has been a minute since you've seen us here on YouTube. As you know, I finished chemotherapy and I've just been taking a little bit of time to heal my body and take a break from everything, but I'm back. I wanted to bring this video to you guys. But before, I wanted to give a special thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. If you ever wanted to make your home feel safer, now is the perfect time. Simply Safe is offering their best Black Friday specials. 50% off or more on their award-winning home security system. They have a variety of different sensors and cameras to choose from that offer 24-7 monitoring and send help fast in any kind of emergency. Simply Safe enables you to choose the equipment that you want for your own home, ships it directly to you. It's such a quick and easy process to install. I could even do it myself. Simply Safe just launched their new wireless outdoor security camera that has a wide field of view, high definition, and eight times zoom, built in spotlight, and color night vision so you can closely watch what's going on around the house. My favorite things about the Simply Safe system is that I can be integrated and interactive with whoever comes to my front door. I can see them, I can talk to them with the two way audio through the doorbell as well as the cameras that can show me my property. When we leave and we go on vacation, I can keep tabs on what's going on at my home and make sure that everything's safe, all the doors are locked, and we don't have any lurkers or anything suspicious around our property. The system is so easy to use and set up. The outdoor camera has an easy to remove chargeable battery, so you don't need an outlet and you can put it anywhere. With the Simply Safe app on your phone, you can control everything in your house being anywhere in the world. It has over 240,000 reviews with five star rating. They did a really good job with it. With Black Friday right around the corner and the holidays coming up, you can save 50% or even more on your Simply Safe security system with their biggest sale of the year. You can visit simplysafe.com slash Dylan and Delia to learn more. Welcome back everyone. We know it's been a little while since we have been here, but let's talk about this. So I've got these cool shirts made. So I'm sure this saying is familiar. Uh, if you guys have followed our channel, we say this a lot. This is kind of a mantra on the channel, but it's also kind of just our outlook on life. And if you could just put one word life is, I think we'd fill it in with beautiful. And so we've always said that, but this shirt is really special. It says that the eye is a breast cancer symbol. There's one here on the shoulder and then the back of it. So, Delia Strong, and we actually got these shirts made when we did her breast cancer walk in Arizona with a bunch of her friends and family, and it was awesome. And we have really cool footage of that, which we'll show you in an updated video. Showing some love to my wife today. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure as you guys know, um, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so we were super busy with a lot of um, things that we were doing for that, just in celebrating life and cancer patients and people who have breast cancer, so we'll talk a little bit more about that. but. We just kind of wanted to get on here and tell you, just update you guys on what's been going on. Um, we've just been so busy since finishing chemotherapy. I think I was so ready to just kind of have a little bit of normality. I went on a couple trips um, with my girlfriends. I went to a workshop for my job in California, an interior design focused um, workshop was really, really fun. And we have just been really busy prepping for our new project, our home build project that we kind of touched on in our house tour video a couple months back. And so, you know, we've just been really busy. We've actually had two passings in the past couple months. So we've been trying to spend time with family as much as we possibly can. My grandpa passed away and Dylan's grandma passed away. So yeah. We've yeah. just been, you know, taking some time to just take a break from everything this year has been very, very crazy for us and very overwhelming and I think um, the whole world it's been crazy yeah, for the whole world has. the past couple of years so it, it really has been a whirlwind and awakening and um we just wanted to kind of give you an update first off yeah let's talk about this project that we have been doing that we're really excited about as you guys know we've done a couple of home tour videos of houses that we have fully built and designed with my parents company that i joined chatlin homes and then me and Delia started our own interior design company with the Lifestyle Collective, just building and doing a the design together on one of these homes and we found such a love for it. And it's kind of something we both always love. 
So on our Abbey Road home tour, which you'll see in our, our video list, that was our last parade home that we built and designed and put it in the parade of homes here in Utah. We touched on our next project that we were getting ready, which was called Stonewood. And it's finally finished as far as the plans and everything. We just started it. So we just dug the hole and we're gonna be starting footings and foundation next week. So we're really excited to do this one because this is one that we have fully designed from the ground up, the plans, everything. Uh, and so we're gonna build it, design it, furnish it, do all the interior design. This was meant to be a home that we were gonna put in the parade of homes and put it for sale, but somebody contacted us that was interested in it and purchased it. So it is actually sold now. So we are still going to do all of the build, the interior design, exactly how we were going to do. And we're gonna take you guys through that journey. We're gonna show a lot more updates with this than we have in our other homes in terms of just footage from digging the hole to the final touches of interior design. So we'll take you guys through the whole step. We probably will have to start purchasing product. Like I probably will start working on mood boards and design boards pretty quickly, even though this will take about a year to do. Everything is so backed up. I'm sure supply chain is out of this world. It's crazy right now. And trying to get anything shipped in is a nightmare. So I probably will have to start in the next couple of months and expect it to be here in about six to eight months. So that's that's yep. the next project um, we have going on. Well, all that said, here is Stonewood. going to be our biggest project yet and require the most amount of effort and work. it's really really big it's like <laughs> ended up being it turned out being a lot bigger than I wanted yeah. to so well we started because we were gonna do a spec home so we try to keep it like pretty modest like I mean the homes we have done have been big but for out here in this county um, and like our demographics you people usually have like larger families so our modest range is between like 4,500 to just under 6,000 and this one is over 10,000 square feet so we kind of got a little crazy with it but that's what the client wanted and we just kind of built to what they want after they told us like hey this this works we love this design we love what you guys are doing with the plans and we just want to add on and build to like our needs and so it ended up working out perfectly but it is very big it's massive and it's gonna be a really cool project. It's very Scandinavian style, Scandi modern, which we love. We'll continue and show you guys the whole journey through Stonewood as that unfolds. So there's a lot of things happening in my work world that I've been trying to focus on as I'm healing and as I'm like going through everything else with my health, but just a quick snapshot um, of just recent things that have gone on. I finished chemo as you guys all saw. Yay, that was so exciting. Finally, it was a long time coming. We had to push treatment off like two or three times throughout that process because I was having liver inflammation. I was having irritation in my liver. I was having some weird side effects that they were like, okay, we'll probably just like skip a week. So it did end up going like, I think what, like three or four weeks longer than anticipated, which led me into month eight of treatment. So there was a lot of side effects with chemotherapy that we didn't necessarily document just because we didn't have a chance to film everything. She's gonna make a video about that because that's also one big part of this cancer journey is there's so many others that we've discovered that are going through this and going in their own way. I have had a tremendous amount of people reach out. I mean, just being a cancer patient, a lot of people can relate. There are a lot of people that have cancer, um, different kinds of cancers. And so I think, you know, when they see somebody going through chemotherapy, they're like, oh my gosh, like I know how I was in the beginning, like researching everything, living on Google, living on the internet, um, trying to figure out what I can expect and like what I can prepare for and plan for. So I really want to put out all of that information. It's my journey, so it chemotherapy is different for every single person. Everybody has a different body, but whatever I can share with you to prepare and prep and plan um, and what to expect, can maybe help ease a little bit of nerves. It helped me a ton, even though I didn't experience a lot of things. I did have a good amount of side effects. And 
I think while I was going through it, I wasn't really in the headspace to talk about it because I was trying to just manage it and, and get through it as much as I possibly could. And so now that I'm done with it and I don't have to do it again, I can talk about it with a little bit more ease. And um, so I want to do a video where I break down everything, the different treatments that I had because I had two medications, the first four rounds, and then I had a separate medication for the other 12. So I had different side effects with each and I will give a very detailed rundown what I experienced, when I experienced it, what I used to manage it, and how I helped my body work through it. So that will be the next video. So you can prepare for that if you know, like that's something that you're looking for. And that's, I mean, and that was kind of like, it's really important because I, I don't think she really realizes it because she's just going through it the only way she knows how. But from the outside, it's clear that there are so many points of value that she can provide and just how she did things and how she got through it that others may have even thought about and tips and tricks and things that she did. So that video will be coming. I have to give credit to the other people in my life who have helped me like work through it because the only reason I know what I know is because I have a great support system of people who have like reached out and been like, hey, like, like good friends and family that have like gone through similar things that are like, hey, I got you. Like, I'm gonna help you work through this and um, I'll share all of that information with you. But definitely is a lot and I feel like I'm ready to talk about it now and um, get that information out there for anybody who's seeking it um, and needs it or knows somebody who needs it and you can send this video along. After that video, we also naturally got a lot of comments from people like, congratulations, so glad you're done. Finally, you beat cancer, you know, and it's, and. Which, and, thank you Yeah, that's, so it's much. great, it's great. So Chemo's many people over. rooting for me, I'm so thankful for that. Well, yeah, and that was, and that was awesome. But we just kind of want to emphasize that um, she's not done. And in fact, the subsequent steps were the hardest ones. Um, surgery, radiation. And so we're still in it. She's still in it, in the fight right now. And by far the hardest part of this was the surgery. And we're gonna show that pretty soon coming up. And that's another reason why we've taken just such a break is because that that was really tough on yeah, her, really tough. I plowed through chemotherapy. I had the side effects, it sucked. I worked through it and then surgery came and my world was rocked. I don't think anyone can plan for that. Um, I also haven't had a lot of surgeries in my life and so I don't know if that was another reason for it. I don't know if it's because my immunity had been knocked down so much, but that brought a lot of trauma and it was really hard to navigate. We can share that all with you, but we have been absent for a little bit because that really needed to take like 100% of my energy and the people around me, all of their energy. My mom gave up three weeks of work to come out and be here and help kind of like Dylan when he needed to go to work as life goes on, you know, so we will also talk about that. We have a lot to catch you guys up on, um, but we did want to just pop on here and give you a little quick little update of what's going on in our life, uh, what we've been doing and how things have been going. I'm so thankful to be done with chemotherapy. I still have, you know, treatment left to do, but I think we're in a good place right now where we can kind of start going back to work and functioning at a somewhat normal pace and getting ready for the holidays. So. Got yeah. a lot going on and it's busy. It's busy for everyone. And um, we just, you know, like for me, I just want to say thank you. Uh, you guys have been so gracious and so kind and just always sending support. And I'm just really grateful for that. So I felt we owed it to you guys to give you a, a little bit of an update. Let you know where we're at with things. Yeah, let you know that we're, we are well, that truly life is beautiful. We're completely happy and busy. And I think um, a lot of that is owed to just the constant prayers. I mean, I, we always talk about this, there's power in prayer. There's power when hundreds get together in faith and pray for a specific cause for a specific individual. We believe in fasting, we believe in prayer and faith and it works. I got a really cool opportunity just a few weeks ago in my church to be a church leader and to be a speaker and talk to those in our church. And I'm so nervous, but I'm so excited because I think 
through divine intervention. I've been so blessed through a power of prayer and through all of the blessings and miracles I've experienced this year. I think it was just a really cool opportunity for me to give back a little bit and so we're super excited about that. Yeah, that essentially, a few weeks ago. essentially in our in our church in our faith, she's a she's gonna be a teacher. She's gonna teach other women. They strongly felt that she had a lot to offer, and they and she does. This woman's been through a lot, and she's and she's handled a lot, and she has immense faith and positivity. Is constantly always giving credit to God, and so I think she definitely has a lot to offer and share points of value that these women are gonna be blessed with. Thank you. But yeah, just constant love, constant support, constant prayers, acts of kindness. A couple of people so let's let's talk about one in particular a couple there's been a lot it's been a lot <laughs> i get reached out to by someone that i had hadn't seen in a long time I hadn't seen him in years and you know i guess he got caught up on our journey and saw the videos and just reached out and he does he his business he's a window cleaner cleans windows on homes he just wanted to provide a service for us because what we're going through and wanted to I'll just show the video. Kyle Grimes, the face of clean habits. <laughs> uh, this guy is a complete stud. There's this company. Came over to clean the house and wash the windows. He won't accept money. So Kyle just got done and he pretty much just removed our window, 100%, because you can't even tell it's there. Just did such an amazing job. Clean the entire house, clean every window, even clean my car just because it was in his way. And uh, we're just expecting him to leave. It's been like eight hours since he's been here. It's been a good day. He busts out a chair, hands her clippers, and and he's gonna have us shave his head. Yeah, go for it. He can't be the beer because his wife said I will not, you cannot come home if you he's shave your beard. <laughs> yeah, it's it's part of my brand image, so I got another logo that's actually my bearded face. <laughs> but Kyle's gonna have Delia shave his head, literally just in support of her, and I mean it's just it's it's so heartwarming. It's just so touching. He 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 insisted that he came over. He he reached out to me. I turned him down probably like four times. Like <laughs> a couple times. Man, you're good. You don't need to come clean our house and our windows. And he insisted. He just literally showed up today. He's been here all day. It's in how many hours? Like six and a half. It's in six and a half hours. Like we gave him lunch just because it's just amazing. You sure about this, man? Go for it. Let's go. All right. Let's start at top. Wherever you want. No, man. There it goes. He pulls it off so well. It looks so good, Bolt. It looks so good. So, babe, hey, why don't you, uh, you know? Twin with it? Yeah, twin up. <laughs> All right. Two fine looking individuals. I love it. This is Kyle Grimes. What an amazing individual. Thank you so much, man. So, <laughs> it's been years since we've seen each other, but you're a stud and we love you. Happy to be here. Love you guys too. Thanks for coming out. Of course. <laughs> for people like Kyle and there's so many Kyles out there that would do exactly what he would have done for her and specifically that was the first time her. I met him too and he spent just his whole day cleaning the house cleaning all of the windows every single one of the windows like didn't complain clean my car just because it was in the way out front yeah just was cleaning and we're like fix the like, screen what do we do like what like what do we owe you you know and he's just like oh no like i wanted to do this just for you to like make the burden lighter like while while i was going through treatment and it just 
and I always get emotional. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just so overwhelming, the love that people have to give, and there's so many good people out there who just want to do something nice for someone, and the first time I meet him, he comes to my house and cleans all of the windows and then hands me a shaver to buzz his head and offer support to me to help me um, feel better. And that was just so... It's just an act of, you're not alone. Uh, it's gonna be okay. You know, people are good. Humanity is good. God is good. And I think there's just goodness in every one. And it's just overwhelming. And it's just so refreshing to see the, the goodness of people and how that's kind of been expanded like a hundred fold since this journey has occurred. And we just see so much love. And we just see how good people really are. Our neighbors, our neighbors that live in this neighborhood, they brought us meals every single day. They coordinated with all the other neighbors and sent out an email to the rest of the neighbors. Hey, Delia's going through this. If any of you guys want to help pitch in and make dinners for her. She said the list filled up in like 20 minutes for months of bringing us food every single night while she was going through her chemotherapy while I was working. And the, the sister in her ward who was organizing it said, I got calls from others like, I didn't know, I didn't get on the list. How, how can I, and we had like squeeze her in on, on like, well, you can do it on Sunday because they weren't doing it on Sundays because you know, some days for us to cook on our own and stuff. But she was like, yeah, you can come do it on Sunday. She, okay, she was so excited and she was, she was upset that she couldn't help, you know? And so it's, it's just that kind of love and, and it's around us, it's everywhere. It's around us, it's around you. There's just so much good everywhere. And I just think when you focus on it and just have that spirit of gratitude and humility, which is kind of what this journey has taught us, you really open your eyes to see just how beautiful the world is and how, how kind people are. And I think with that being said, if there is ever a person in your life who you can support and you can offer love and kindness and service to, I would 100% always recommend doing that. Um, I don't think people realize how impactful that can be and the random texts like people will send of like, hey, I'm just checking up on you, I'm just thinking of you, like is there anything I can bring you, is there anything I can do? Hey, I'm sending you love and support. Hey, I just want you to know that if you need a ride to treatment, if you need this, if you need that, like support goes a long way and it doesn't have to be like buying somebody something it doesn't have to be expensive it can just be a simple text or a phone call it has so much power behind it and there's so much that it can do for somebody and their mental state of mind especially when they're going through a hard turbulent time so if you ever have the opportunity to support and love and show kindness and offer any kind of service to somebody I would definitely recommend doing that because as being a receiver of that, it has made such a difference in my life. Oh, I'll, I'll just add that you do have that opportunity. Everyone does. Every single day we have the opportunity to do acts of kindness and do it. My mom always said kindness is the hardest thing to give away because it's always returned and it's true. So we just want to kind of give you guys up to speed on what's going on in our lives with our businesses, with where she's at in her cancer journey, where I am at. People always say, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm happy, you know, my life is great. I, I, have, I have absolutely zero complaints. Life is good, we are good. Uh, these next upcoming videos, it was actually the time when she was the most vulnerable during this whole journey through her surgeries and, and the complications that, that came with it. So that's kind of where we're at with things and next video we'll do side effects. I will sit down with you and go through everything of what I experienced, what I used to help me, um, and then we will, we have a wig video coming soon. Too. Oh yeah. I know a lot, a lot of people, people yeah, want to know about wigs and stuff. So I'll do a breakdown of that. Um, and then we'll kind of go through from that point forward. But we will try our very, very, very best to get videos out as quickly as we possibly can um, to keep everybody updated with things and kind of let you know what's going on. And um, just thanks again for all of the support the constant check-ins, the love. Uh, we really feel it and I really feel it and I'm so thankful for that. And um, life is beautiful. It is, thank you guys. Until next time.